There's so much stigma around homelessness and there's so many reasons to be afraid. With homelessness, people don't see the person, they see the situation, the homelessness. CSWB came to Cultural Arts because they felt like we could work together and they're really out in the community and our goal is to get art out in the community. Adams County really stands out and, and does things outside of the box to try and make change. If CSWB is helping people with mobile laundry services and showers and connecting them to all these resources, let's bring an artist to mobile services and have them create that special space through art making. I'm very, very grateful that the county found an opportunity to have somebody connect um, with my residents and just highlight that these are people with souls and people that have resilience and they have the ability to change if they're given the right tools. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I recognize you. Yes, so good Shawnee. to see you. Yeah. How exciting. Shawnee really stood out because her passion for this work. She has already done so much art um, just with more vulnerable communities. At my job at Redline Contemporary Art Center, we have a community studio called Reach that serves people experiencing homelessness or financial hardships. They can come to Redline and just work on art projects and I've gotten to know a lot of these people and I've seen um, the power of what having a creative outlet can do for some folks on the streets. I was hired based on my own felony status. I was a drug addict for a very long time. I've spent a lot of time in jail and in and out of the justice system. You know, I've been broken and I know what it's like to not want to change. We worked with the Cultural Arts Commission and a unique selection panel to identify the artists to come, create that special place for people, have this background in like community engagement, but also be a fine artist who could create a piece that then would live on forever. How are y'all doing? What I'm striving to do more personally just in my art is to really integrate myself into these communities that I'm making these pieces for. I want their voice and their essence, their energy to be in that piece. One resident who is very well known throughout the county, his name is Yeti. Public Works is familiar with Yeti, the commissioners are familiar with Yeti, the sheriff's office is familiar with Yeti. Doing this art project with Shawnee, Yeti was able to see his own resilience. And by the time this documentary is released, Yeti will be housed and in his own apartment. This is a process that took three years to do, and Shawnee taking the time to highlight Yeti showed him his own value and that he was worth more than just living on the streets. <laughs> yeah, his are definitely blue. Yeti's kind of a wild man. <laughs> He's very creative. Yeti would bring all his art and show me his stuff too, you know. Carries around a big old speaker with him. Justin's color, like he carries around this red guitar, so I wanted the background kind of red orangish because he's he's already like a creative person you know hey, i think he was the first one that um started making art with me started like playing his guitar and kind of hanging out and there was like a few days that it just rained like all day he came in that thursday and he was just like to his breaking point he was just like i'm over being on the street and stuff and he signed up for rehab so that was pretty cool to be there and witness that, you know. When was it that I came here? Um, the first time? It was like a month ago at this Yeah, a month point. ago. Mm -hmm. This is my fourth painting. Now I'm, I'm standing in the lines. Definitely experimenting more. Shawnee does a really good job of, of sitting down and really connecting to the residents, finding out more about them, finding out about their experiences, what their barriers are. It's an art form called neuropathic art, so you're supposed to think about something that's troubling you at the moment or just something that's kind of weighing heavy on you and you're just moving your hand however sees fit. I'm drawing confusion. Because that's what life is about. It's just very confusing about things that happen. Because after losing my wife of uh, 20 years, 
I just feel really seriously confused about what's happening. Richard is a unique individual. He's had a lot of trauma that he hasn't been able to process. He was able to talk to Shawnee, and again, I think through the art, be able to process some of that trauma, so that way he's able to move forward and look towards things in the future instead of being stuck of, in, in his loss and what happened in the past. Decided to go a little more squiggly this time. Yeah. I see you, trying new stirfs. It's just, it's just the thing is that since my life has just g g gone to sh I mean, I gotta find something just to get myself calm. Well, I'm glad this helps you out a little. It's helping me. And if I didn't meet Shawnee, get her to get me to do this, I don't know what I would have done. She never criticized me. She never made me feel like, like crap. That's why I come here, because the fact is, is that, I mean, it's, it's open, it's free, you, you can do whatever you want, and nobody's gonna criticize you for it. As children and like as we grow, everyone's an artist, but all it takes is like, that one person telling you that your stuff is bad and it's something that kind of like kills that creative spirit in you. The artist's role in communities to me, we're healers in a certain way, trying to touch the hearts of the people who aren't experiencing that and kind of like finding a middle ground to where they understand it and can relate and maybe be sparked to do small acts that help this population. Well, I provide service for the unhoused or people who just are having hard times. We do their laundry for free. I probably do between 150 to 250 loads a week. And, and you know, and I know what they're going through because I've been there. I've been homeless for eight years. I was very abused. I came from a very abusive relationship. Totally lost everything. My family, my children. I was nobody. I was here working. We didn't have a lot of people. So we just started talking and she just said, I'm drawing you. I said, okay. So I have no idea where I am, what I'm doing. Real, you know, just authentic, nothing fake, nothing phony, it's just me. I like the scratchiness of it. I like the sound of it. It's literally like putting love into your art, you know, a lot of thought. Richards will be fun because he's, he's smiling all big in his, you know. I think out of everyone who posts, he's the only one that smiled. Dwayne, I don't like he originally moved to Colorado for like a fireworks business. The brown kind of just reminds me of like outside and nature. Piercing blue eyes. I would love to get to a point where we just see people as people, not people based on their status of whatever's going on with them. They just need someone to talk to and hang out with, someone that they trust. She was very kind to me. She, she treated me with respect. She was there for me and I really admire that. It's felt nice that I could be that for them, and I hope they realize they've been, they've been something for me, too. Like, I've been learning a lot from the folks I've been interacting with. I love Shawnee to death. I mean, I just, she is an incredible woman, and what I think what she was doing up here is fabulous, and it's just exciting to be a part of that. The final artwork serves as a record of that, but also a reminder for us on the outside, like there's a population we might not see that needs to be served. I know me being here and just like talking to these people isn't gonna cure all their problems. Like life is hard, but we can lean on each other and just share each other's experiences and do the best we can. So in that way, I, I feel like I have had a positive impact. <laughs>